Hello guys, this is Frank here from the BI Forums, and in this Armor 3 video, I just want to quickly show you guys how to enable a controller while you're in game, and specifically we're going to do this with uh, Track IR5, which is what I'm using right now. I also have my rudder pedals plugged in, and that does not require a program to be running for them to be detected in Armor 3, and I already have them configured and enabled in the game. However, with Track IR, you typically have to enable or activate this application for Track IR to work, so right now, I had it enabled for a second, but I'm turning it off now. So you can look in the bottom right, and we don't see a Track IR logo. I might have lost you, but just pay attention right here. Basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to launch the game. Track IR is not running right now, and a common misconception is that people feel that they have to shut the game down if they forgot to run the application first, and then run the Track IR application, then launch Arma 3. That's actually not the case. What all you have to do is simply go into controls or configure then controls and that's it and typically your track IR will be automatically detected and everything should work fine so let's see right now my track IR application is not running so I should not have any head track uh, head tracking right now so right now I'm rotating my head in real life and my head tracking isn't working however if you go into configure and then controls and controller, we can see that my rudder pedals are working. So you don't have to do this for every controller that's out there, but keep in mind that what we are going to do right now is we're going to pause the game, go Alt Tab to our desktop, or just find Track IR5 wherever it is your program. Launch the Track IR application. Wait a second for it to initialize. I'll minimize the Track IR program in this launcher. Go to Configure in the game. Go to Controls. And right now it's automatically detecting the controller. We could even check right here, and you can see track IR5 has appeared right there. Click on OK, go to continue, and now my track IR is working. And I can rotate my head again. So there you go. Helpful little video on how to get a controller working AF while you're in game without having to restart the game itself. And then re you know, turning on the application before restarting the game. Anyway, hopefully this video was helpful for those of you that have controllers and stuff like that for Arma 3 or whatever. And if the video was helpful, like it. If it wasn't helpful, then dislike it. Or leave me a comment if you need help with whatever. Anyway, take care.